Hi everybody, my name's Antoinette and this is Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insights and indeed information about the board games you just might want to have in your own collection. So do you enjoy games about trading, but are looking for something a little bit different and definitely unique? Well if so, then here's five things I think you need to know about Dado Cheng. In Dado Cheng, players take on the roles of foreign traders in Taiwan at the turn of the 20th century. On your turn, you'll swap and flip resource discs and match colours in a Connect 4 style to claim resources which you can use on your player boards. These allow you to enhance your operations in Dado Cheng through buying buildings, or you can trade your resources away to the rest of the world. The winner is the most prestigious trader who has earned the most victory points after six rounds. Thing one, what's this game all about? Well, surprise, surprise, it's another trading game. And we're well used to these type of games where you're pushing cubes to get other items, to trade them at a different port. We've had our fills of trading in the Mediterranean titles. So initially, this seems like a very kind of worn out and battered theme. However, Dao De Cheng focuses on a very specific time period and location. So that does give this game its own little something something but to be fair, not a lot. Theme is not really important here. Um, and what it is here in terms of theme is very light. Um, it's not very well implemented, meaning that the only kind of connection you have with the setting to this game comes from the event cards that are revealed each round. And they are, represent actual historical events. Um, so that's really kind of your only connection to the world that this game is set in. Now, similar games to Dead Eye Cheng, um, I guess it reminds me a lot of Discovery Era of Voyage from Emperor S4 games, as both of them are these very small trading games, which, you know, on the front look kind of unoriginal, uninspired, but inside the box have kind of really interesting and fresh game choices for you to make. Thing two, mechanics. So how Dada Cheng is put together is deceptively simple, as anybody who's played Connect Floor can attest to. But the puzzle it provides is it actually a very, very strong one. Um, the way you flip your discs to match up colours um, and then attempt to flip those again to match into other colours feels on the one hand really familiar, but at the same time really rather innovative. Um, I also find that these discs make the game incredibly tactile um, as you're able to pick up the pieces and imagine where they might go or what might flip into what and I think that adds an extra dimension to gameplay here and it's one that I personally really appreciated. Now the use of these tracks for the player boards which you can go up and along um, keeps this game kind of a midway range because your choices are reduced to when you want to progress on one board or when you want to progress on the other and I think that keeps this game kind of timely and well paced. Um, I like that the dice add an optional random element where you can attempt to exchange goods of one type for another, um, giving you extra options without overwhelming you with too many and also meaning that if you're really desperate for a particular type of cube, there's always going to be a way for you to try and get it. Um, in my mind, Dado Cheng is a very, very smooth game to play. It fits together really well and I really appreciate how each action you take leads to kind of another on your path. It's definitely progressive in nature. The puzzle part, however, is the real meat here and for me, it's both engaging and rather delightful. Thing three, on the table. I'm not gonna lie, Dado Cheng really grabbed me when I first saw it set up on the table. That shared board for flipping the resources is really eye-catching and on a whole, the game looks tidy and inviting. I really appreciated kind of its muted colour scheme and yet it's somehow colourful and stands out while trying not to. It's kind of intriguing. When it's set up, it takes up very little space and setup is actually super easy as well. Um, for two of us, it takes about 40 minutes to play and the majority of your time while playing this game will be spent trying to figure out how to get the most resource flips. This is the type of game where it'll be somebody's turn and they'll take like 10 minutes to decide how they're gonna use all the resources and then the rest of the turn just flies by. Um, so prepare yourself for that kind of style of play. Um, replayability wise, to be fair, most of this game doesn't change from play to play. However, the random puzzle of the resource board, which kind of fuels all of your other actions, gives this game kind of infinite possibilities. Thing four, how does this game look and feel? 
Well, as you might guess from the box here beside me, um, it's got an unusual cover and box shape, which makes Dado Cheng, I think, stand out among other titles. Like, I really enjoyed the quaint and colourful artwork. Um, like, look at it, it's kind of, I don't know, I found it quite intriguing. Um, but the only time you really get to see a lot of this art is on the event cards. Um, and to be fair, they're beautifully rendered. Now, component quality is excellent and everything in this game looks bright and cheery. Like, this is not a depressing world of trading for goods and I, I appreciated that. Um, overall, I think this game looks really, really good, but I do think it might have a tendency to blend in rather than stand out, which for me made it stand out all of the more. Thing five, is this game actually any good? Well. That O Chang is a game that kind of caught my eye across from Eschenspiel 2019. I saw it set up and I saw other people playing it and I think it was the only game that I saw someone else play that I was determined to have a go of myself. Um, there's something, I don't know, really inviting about its quaint colours and its tidy appearance. Um, and for me, I just found it really attractive and I instantly wanted to know more. Now, the core of this game is this flipping discs mechanic. Um, and if that's not your jam, I'm sorry, there's not much here for you to enjoy. Because this core thing, as simple as it is, is, you know, the be all and end all of this game. But despite how straightforward it is, um, this puzzle at the, the center of everything is what really offers so much challenge and variety here. And this game can be as difficult as you feel like making it for yourself. So you can focus on optimal turns and working out all sorts of patterns, or you can play it as easy as you like, where you just flip one or two discs to get just enough resources for the turn. I love that different playgroups will approach this puzzle at different speeds and levels. And I think this is part of what makes Dado Cheng just so damn attractive. I think the only place it might fall down is in the artistic department. Yeah, it's colourful, but it's a little reminiscent of older Euro games. Um, and be that as it may, I do however think that the style they have here in this game does reflect the theme rather well, so in my mind it makes sense, but I can understand why people might see it as a little bit bland and maybe a little outdated. Um, but despite all these things, let me reassure you, this is a fun game. Like, really, really, really fun, without feeling gimmicky, and one I think that lots of people are really going to enjoy, so I definitely recommend you go and have a look at it. Do I think you should have Dado Cheng in your collection? Well, if you want something that's really, really fun and a puzzle that's headachingly good, but somehow still feels like a Euro game, um, then this is the game you're looking for. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. Why not like or subscribe to the channel so you can hear about future videos and future awesome games? Or if you've got any questions or queries you'd like to ask about Dado Cheng, you can ask me in the comment box below. I'd be more than happy to reply. So for more informative and short board game reviews, tune in next time. Take care, everybody.